Hey everybody, so here we are, Freeze Masters. Finally got in. They've gone green this year, so that means the uh, press passes are all on your phone. But of course, the Wi-Fi is a nightmare to actually uh, access the press pass, which is on your phone. So you take a screenshot of it. And then of course, they won't let you in with a screenshot. Anyway, there we go, it's been entertaining as now. And the other people reviewing the thing, how we can't actually get in. Um, anyway, so here we are. Freeze Masters, let's see what happens. The whole vibe of uh, the last one was, uh, is it fresh enough? And I had a feeling it wasn't as fresh as it could be. Um, so let's see what happens this time. These people, of course, were all, um, well, they weren't around when Freeze London was taking place, were they? They were doing their own thing off in some other planet or world. So they weren't fretting about trying to copy what the Freeze Masters vibe was. So let's see, do they look fresher? Well, of course, you've got similar stuff like this. Yeah, you can me here and Sean Scully, you've got the same, same stuff. But anyway, let's see what happens. And for the uh, techie people, this one's being recorded in HD, 60 frames a second, because uh, frankly, I will never fit everything on the phone otherwise. So Freeze London got the uh, HD, this one's getting the other one. Yeah, Kasama, the one I saw in Freeze preferred, it's a bit of a Gerhard Richter, it's probably about £250,000. Insane, frankly, isn't it? That's well, alright, blow my mind entirely. Uh, let's see what's down here. Who is that painting by? Is it Ivan Hitchens or Patrick Heron? Yes. Oh, it is a Patrick Heron. Intriguing. Never seen that one before. I've seen it in a book. But not a film that one too long. Right, Ivan Hitchens. Hmm, nice. Let's go and kind of have a look at these for actual looking. Ivan Hitchens. I do like the Ivan Hitchens. Personally, that's my taste. Ben Nicholson, I always like Ben Nicholson, so I would have bought the other one on the right, wasn't it? I think it's a much better painting than the one on the left. There you go, so I'm looking forward to seeing these Michael Craig Martin. Where's that put on there? Oh, there's vinyl, I presume. It hasn't actually gone on quite as it should do in that corner. Actually, none of it's gone on particularly accurately, actually. Hand applied black crepe tape. I thought they'd be absolutely perfect in real life, actually, a little bit flawed. I mean, oh, no, these. I'm curious, is these, is these black crepe tape as well? It's definitely hard to tell what they are made of, in all honesty. Absolutely no idea. There's no information anywhere, which is irritating. So I'd like to see what it's made of. So, leaning, let me see if there's anything that explains it. But they are very cool, aren't they? Are these things as well? I can't tell. No. I can't find any information anywhere. Um, who are these by? I can't tell. Oh, that is my good friend, Mark. These are boxes. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Here we are, Freeze Masters, I need to find a castle somewhere. And is it more exciting than what you find at Freeze London? Yes, I would say so. It's got that still kind of wild freshness to the whole thing, isn't it? Wild freshness. Yeah. With uh, these other things. David Sally. Um, a key herring vase, but um, look at it, it's exciting, it's insane, it's scribbled, it's wild, but it's also really beautiful. I think it is, you know, maybe just better than a lot of that other stuff. Much better. Um, so there you go. Um, I think it's exciting. It's not quite so organized. Christopher Wall. Don't get those things right. Um, just a lot more stuff for sale. More um, bits of Aboriginal sculpture. 
Right, anyway, so there we go. That's, uh, I'm going to round it up now. Uh, freeze muscles, yeah, great. Enjoy it as much. Probably is fair. The quality of stuff wasn't quite up to what it normally is this year. A lot more stuff. Maybe they found it harder to actually fill this uh, thing this year, judging by the amount of object for sale as opposed to paintings. Um, but nevertheless, still really enjoyed seeing things. Ivan Hitchens, really inspired to get a bit more Ivan Hitchens painty vibe into my stuff. Got a bit of a C Twombly. This is possibly a section of the whole fair. I've totally missed. Could be. We'll find out in a minute. We've got that million C Twombly's here. Obviously having a C Twombly vibe. Sometimes I like them. Sometimes. Sometimes they're really clever. The early ones are clever. I like these sort of squiggly line ones here. I think these are much better than the later sort of paintings. Mm, a bit of line. Interesting. It's actually got a bit of a sort of Rothko window vibe going on with them there. Which is interesting. Kind of sort of like those ones where it's great with the paint. And then we're stuck in a little prison area here. Um, can we see more of them? But um, yeah, so let's sum it up. Um, freeze Masters. Um, you always know what you're going to get. So really, I don't know why that drawing is good, but I like it where that sort of giant B disappears into the text and it becomes like text and not text all at once, which is kind of funky. Um, so anyway, we are on the way out of here, everybody. Um, so, sorry, final sum up. Um, I see Twombly hanging around, surrounded by squiggles. Um, Final sum up, Freeze Masters 2019. Possibly not as good as the other ones, as they said. A lot of stuff for sale. Objects, look even more here, more objects here. More objects over there on the right, everywhere you look. Objects for sale. Ah, less quality paintings than you might have expected, but ones that are there, we're good. I oh, know, I've seen down before, haven't we? Um, yeah, really enjoy that item hitching. Gives me a vibe to paint. Surprisingly, nothing really weird here today. Um, and uh, that's it. Good stuff, Freeze Masters. Always good to come to you. Please like, subscribe. There's absolutely no money in this. Just losing money the whole time. So please donate. Donate so we can eat. Um, yeah, and we can round it off by looking back at this Ken Kiff again. Don't forget, don't miss our lovely Ken Kiff films which are, are very interesting. We really talk about the artist. The, the paint dominates his ideas and thoughts, which I guess does rather beautifully leave the stuff he does very exciting. Um, so there we go. That's what we're looking for. The excitement is much more here probably than Freeze London. Well, ironically, Freeze London seems to be much more effort to uh, produce commercial stuff you can sell. Look at these fantastic little Indian miniatures. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Au revoir. Cheerio. Bye bye, guys. Let's end uh, until freeze next year. Enjoy. Cheerio, thanks for watching. Bye bye bye. bye. Patrick Heron over there. It's quite freaky. Wardington Cusset. Um, went back to look at those Ivan Hitchens. Uh, they're really exciting kind of things that make you actually want to go and do some painting instead of uh, not. Um, I better not film these Patrick Harris for too long. Uh, that's a weird dark background on that one. Um, it's through here. Um, intriguing. Oh yeah, Peter Blake. They're always painted so beautifully, those Peter Blakes, aren't they? Always like that. And, uh, you know, that's fine. There's no names anywhere here. It's quite hard to work out what's going on. Ooh, that nice map of Craig Norton sculpture over there. It's quite funky. I love the shadow on that. Funky how you get the shadow. Oh, this painting of the shoes by that guy whose name I can't remember. Oh, here's that. Here's that. Um, and there's a Moroi. Bizarre. I think it was her. 1959. Shoes. Oh, kind of quite like that. Even though. I don't know why, it's just loads of shoes, it seems kind of edgy <coughs> and painted. Ah, it's not really painting stuff here. 
Harbour, so that as we're just wandering through a few towns and photos. Alright, on we stroll down here, spotlight, I don't know what that means. There's all these different things about different galleries and why they're here, totally impossible to understand what it all means. But, um, oh yeah, just drifted into this sort of weird photo stuff. San Francisco, in London, oh, I like those drawings. Quite fun. I feel kind of frisky. Always like drawings. Like those. What is this? Berlin? Uh, New York? Particularly fascinating. We're just reading out where these things are from. Uh, there's a loo, there should be some water in there, let's go and have a look. Okay, made it out of the loo alive. Um, quite funny, there's one single cubicle marked for exhibitors. So out of about the 40 they've got, there's only one for the exhibitors, reserved for exhibitors. No exhibitors don't actually go to the loo. So they do look all very neat and perfect, so perhaps they do just keep it, keep it in throughout the fair. Anyway, um, always very good quality hand towels and hand wash at the fairs. Having paid 60 quid to get in this place, so you probably expect that. And with the 14 pound sandwiches. Right, let's try and squeeze through here. Ooh, look at that, a bit of fun. Oh, look at these baby seals, how entertaining. Hello baby seals. They look quite happy down there, little baby seals. Not sure what else we're going to be getting out of that. When we stroll, look under the look at Delhi, always here, with his uh, Italian food. Normally you can see him prancing around, let's try and look at some of the art. So this is San Francisco, New York, uh, one single photographer. Let's try and focus in on one of these pictures. They're fine, aren't they? I mean, it's not dismissive, I mean, they're just black and white photographers. Must be sold on the um, that's his name. Oh, it's, I'm sure it's probably... Well, it's always entertaining here to stare at the people in the piano like a telly, don't you? Um, of course. Well, the rest of us can afford to eat in the piano like a telly. But, um... That's, that's freeze for you. Right, let's continue strolling on down here and try and find something to look at. Strong, strong. Strange. Drawings, I'm not sure we go by. That's a Burus Gunta. Let's see that room. Burus Gunta. All around here. Andrew Edmonds, London. This seems to be old style, kind of weird. Freeze Moss is slightly weirder this year, I think. It's a bit more like old stuff. Like this is like, um, well, of course, these are sold, haven't they? These are like um, 18th century or whatever sort of prints. Intriguing. Selling for about 3,000 each. Kind of weird. I did read somewhere that this year everybody was worried about freeze masters because the quality of the work wasn't quite up to it. Who knows if that is true? We shall see, hopefully, as we wander through. Oh, I keep forgetting people's names today. Oh, there's an interesting drawing over there. There's that drawing by... Oops, finger appeared, sorry. Oh, Picasso drawing. Intriguing. Early one. Quite entertaining. Strolling on around. Rolling on New York, all kind of. Oops, sorry, I'm zooming in and out. These are uh, like Balthus. It looks like Balthus, but I'm feeling they're not actually by him. Neil Chamon. Hmm. And on we go. Stanley Spencer. Well, that squared up very neatly, as you'd expect. <coughs> Some uh, things in the box. And on we go, having been forced to 
leave my bag here. It is easier to wander around and hold the phone. Five pounds to leave the bag. Oh, right. What have we got here? Uh, Bridget Riley. It's working, lurking on its own for some reason, but I don't know. It's good. Actually, looks really like it is genuinely curved. Beautifully painted, actually. Very nicely done. Well, obviously, I'm not a fan of that stuff, but it's in the flesh. It's good. It's probably small. Can't get away with making a picture of that size these days, so do you? On this straw down here, the listen gallery on the left. Yeah, sofa. Susan Miller. Don't know enough about her. On the right, David Zwerner. A little look in there if I can before these people crush me. Oh, is that a Sigmar Polka? I obviously rather like. It's actually a really good. Um, Oh, that is. That must be a signal pole there. I would have thought. Let's see. Yep, a signal polka. Not one of my faves, admittedly, that one. Some of those ones. No. Quite enough there. A few bits of spray paint and a few obscure blobs in the background. What's it called? Only oh, something difficult. Title. Uh, what have we got over here? But this is a really good album. Colours on that, just a mental case. Really, really good. Insane blue. Just stunning. Intriguing little uh, Gerhard Richter there. Oops, sorry about the face of zooming. Uh, uh, that's quite funky that one. Like that. Like that quite a lot. Right. Where are we now? Marlborough. Marlborough Fine Arts, I guess. Okay, what's that guy? Forgot his name as well. Paul Rigo. Sorry, I messed him up the zoom again. Larry Rivers. That's quite freaky. Uh, what's that? Floyd Etchings. Oh, these must be Alex Katz. They actually look like Alex Katz. Okay, so there's big flowers in the other. But these are much better. It's really simple. They survive really on their size more than anything else. Uh, there's not much else. There doesn't seem to be any Ken Kiff here. We had a bit of Ken Kiff last year. I don't seem to have brought him out this time. But the Alex Katz are cool. Thank you. Thank you. Alex Cat, that's a good Alex Cat song. There are quite a lot of people walking into me in this one. Anyway, it's like Freeze Masters. No difference. A lot of people walk into you at Freeze Masters. Oh, look at that, that's really cool. Mm, a little sort of Indian drawing of a carpet. Really cool. Right. Not really much to do the art, I'm desperately thirsty. I'm having my water bottle taken away as they took away the. Um, Bag. I'm really thirsty. Totally disorientated for a minute. I don't think I've been down here. Right. Um, sorry, I'm a bit rambling here. Uh, that's a big square can. A thing drawn on it. A few old mastery kind of things. Uh, oh dear. Can't help but begin to be a bit exhausted after these things. Bit after bit after bit of it. No longer really. Oh, I'm actually on the same side of this other gallery. Totally lost it. Where's that actually Gustav Corbe? Oh, these things are from there. It is. Oh, that's quite nice. Quite a nice little sunrise or sunset. Bora de Mech. Very cool. Okay. Well, do I find these things? Better than the other place, yes, I'm afraid so. Ooh, look, more Joseph Albers. It must be. Hmm, not who I thought it would be. Right, lovely. Oh, that's freaky, is that Joseph Albers as well? No, it's not Joseph Albers. Oh, no, look, this is a good one, but it's nothing like as good as that other one. No idea who these are by. Oh, that's got quite funky Sienna. You can barely see that middle orange bit. 
entertaining. On we go. Well, I do just like these things. They seem more fundamental to me. Just straightforward pictures about colour, shape. They seem to have a bit of grammar and uh, sense to them as we scroll down through Freeze Masters 2019. Over there there's a piano. No idea why there's a piano there. It doesn't matter. Oh, no, there's a man just with two cardboard boxes. Nice. Right. I'm just really flipping about this stuff. Sometimes hard not to have a moment of flippancy. I'll tell you one year, saw Harrison Ford strolling along. Very cool, just on his own, no security. Just whispered in and whispered out again. Um, okay, this is uh, more of I don't know, stuff here. Big canvas, hole cut out for a hand. Oh, there's a nice little drawing over there. Let's have a look at that. Oh, Lee Krasner. I've never seen one of those before in real life. It's quite extraordinary. That's a really good drawing. Uh, back again. Can't have an art fair without a purely painted black canvas. On this side, is it more texture? On the other side, it's flatter. Actually, in the foam, it's really red. You can hardly see. You can see the two textured sides there. Comes out grey. Strange. Strange and intriguing. Oh, Ow, that's my finger. Where am I? Oh. Right. Onwards. Strong thing. See what happens. We got here. No idea who these are by. <sighs> Some uh, sculptory things. Let's head back down here. Looking away from the beautiful Japanese restaurant. Uh, no, no, that isn't much of a thing, is it? That is um, the other guy whose name I've forgotten. Patrick Caulfield. Oh, interesting little picture about Alan Jones, rather like that. Um, this is cool, I like that. Uh, interesting in real life, some photo of that actually in real life. It's not quite as precise as you'd have thought. Yeah, interesting. On we go. Oh. Abstract stuff from the Mayor Gallery London. Oh, Verena Lohenberg. Okay, going on down here. This one's a bit of a like a straightforward tour of the thing. Let me know as ever, like last time. This is all filmed on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And it's filmed HD 60 frames a second. I'm not using a gimbal. Some of you complained you got sick as I walked around, so I bought a gimbal, but the new Pro Max seems to be so stable, such amazing stabilisation, you really need it. I would have filmed in that gallery there, but they all look so edgy as if they're desperately waiting for you to buy something you don't want to go in. Um, not that I'm clearly going to be buying anything, but I just felt sort of unnerving to enter in there. Right, let's keep going on down here. Oh, intriguing painting there. Beijing, Hong Kong. It's quite like that one from there, apparently. It's kind of a cool little picture. I like those sort of slightly abstracted things. Would we call that abstract art? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. Uh, it's always interesting you've got these things like vases. It's got a slightly more sort of craft fair, but sort of. Fair of, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, fair of, oh, no, no, I've walked into somebody. I mean, walked into by a million people. Oh, man, look at that crazy Japanese thing. There's a lot more sort of crafty stuff here this time. As it were, those paintings more like stuff from the past to sell, almost more of a hint of like Lepada. Oh, it's an antiques fair. Big gold bits of metal and transparent stuff. Ah, okay. <sighs> On we go. Dickinson, London, New York. 
Regina Payne. Stroll him around. Now that the convention center is finished. Construct painting. Things look fine. Can't quite see the uh, text on these things. They're so unbelievably small. I can barely see it. Now that, I would have said it was a kind of kiff. Lurking over here. That's um, Bone of Jacobson Gallery. I don't know if you see that. Interesting. So, I found one finally. Interesting. Not easy. Let me go back and check that. Um, what's here? Oh, it's actually all these things. Stanley Spencer. I think it must be that one in the centre. Quite a fascinating one in the centre. Oh, beautiful little Peter Blake drawing. Look how good he is at drawing. Stunning, isn't it? You had Hodgkin? Mango. And Hodgkin Untitled, Henry Moore. Quite fun, all this stuff here. Oh, amazing, still spent some drawings. Two amazing to me. Billy Joe is quite a nice. David Hockney, is that a jaw? Yeah, graphite and white, so I think I like the little grey bit. Is that graphite? Yeah, that's also a that I see probably. That's the one. I like that, that's really cool. And that's, it's not self-consciously left, it seems to be left. Nice, I like these Frank Albert. Actually, I thought I did, I don't actually like that as much as I thought. Felt tips are too big. Oh, I love these Ben Nixon drawings, they're absolutely amazing. Really cool. Oh, that's bigger and less subtle than I thought it would be. Oh, interesting, David Bomberg. Intriguing. Very intriguing, all these ones. I actually rather enjoyed this bit of it. It does seem exciting. Glyn Williams. That's a John Hoyland. Oh, sorry, hand in the way. John Hoyland on paper. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting, that one. Around we go. I've got Abrams. Oh, it's nice. Colourful ones at the back. I'm not sure who they're by. I'll stroll over and have a little look in a moment. I always like these uh, Indian miniatures. I've got one of those at home, they're really cool. Come on, let's go have a look at this one here, which is cool. Look at that, really cool. Krishna and Narada on the bed waking up to music. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying that very nicely. Cool, fun. Alright, what have we got around here? Oh, weird Greco helmets. Uh, oh, I've got a picture of myself in a mirror over there, if you can see it. And I am lurking around. Um, there's we got some of old Roman Didi. Just saw that guy who makes the pots in the air. Completely forgotten his name. Um, some pots, nice. Uh, yet another, what's his name? Joseph Albers. Still not as good as that one, so yeah, it's fair Oh, that's a freaky Joseph Albers. I'm looking at it. With the black, white, grey, and the green. I don't like that as much. It's all too glossy. That is really weird. I'm mean, too ripped up. Another Yoyo Kasama. Oh, that's quite cool, that one, actually. So, not very steady. The guy you can really see. It's quite nice. You've got a kind of weird. Oh, look at that. Shows a nice iPhone practice there. Got a real weird translucent quality to that. Which is fun. Oh, another Joseph Albers. This is a cool one. More is doing four. Intriguing. Just intriguing. Dr. Bond. Let's draw one down here. Two islands. <sighs> Deutsche Bank Wealth Management Lounge. That's where everybody wants to go, isn't it? Strolling on down here. We'll get to it in a minute. <sighs> right. <clears throat> Seems to be a lot more of this sort of stuff on sale than the other years. Oh, yeah. oh these are nice. Got a nice, um, oh, right, nice oh, little mini Henry Moores in there. I see him from above, which is quite cool. 
Oh, he has got a nice, nice Ben Nicholson there. It's always interesting to see just how tightly he paints these things. Not that tightly. Beautiful little Barbara Hepworth on the scene and then a stunning Barbara Hepworth drawing. Look, now that has a freshness and energy and vitality you don't get in a lot of the other Freeze London. Interesting little uh, Frank Abbott there. Because it's a big frame with all that paint on it. It's kind of funky. What's over here? Barbara Mathers. Mathers, maybe. Intriguing what these are. Oh, I'm quite drawn to that. Oh, there's another Joseph Alvarez. Joseph Alvarez is Bonanza today. Um, oh, that's interesting. That must be Bridget Lyon. Is she drawn that one? Quite intriguing. It's also drawn. Oh, that must be a little Yee Kasama on paper. Quite intriguing. That's amazing. Going back there. Enjoying this bit again. Sneak back. Look at those. Won't work out here. Like Bomb buckler.